Well, hello everyone, this is Stevio, and we got a special video today. I'm sure all you wonder, what are the best, the biggest harvesters in Farm Sim? You all know I have a mod addiction. Yes, I'm trying to seek help. I have a lot of them. First, we got to take these giant rigs to our field. Yes, talk about a train. This thing is huge. I know, I know, that's what she said. Uh-oh. I guess uh, I have the... I guess the case is beating the John Deere right now. We can't have that, can we? These Dimco uh, grain carts are nice. I gotta say, pretty nice looking mod. If you're looking for a nice grain cart, can't really beat them things. They pull well. They look awesome, and you can get a flag on them. The most important thing. Oh, we are going downhill. Uh-oh. We're going to hit that. Too late now, huh? Don't want to hit the highline pole with a grain cart. Talk about the shocks in the pants. A lot of people got hurt, or seriously hurt doing that gotta be awful careful especially with your augers and all that stuff around the high line you touch both of them uh, wires and get a short running across you got some serious problems on your hands right now we are in beautiful Missouri right on the riverbed here Yes, I guess I kind of cantered that whole uh, trailer there. It's not the best, but I guess it'll do. Pull over here to the side. We gotta wait till the harvesters get here. So we can start harvesting this wheat field. There we go. So let's take a look at our giant rigs here. Yes, talk about long. What is that? At least probably a hundred foot? Maybe? At least, I would say. So we got a couple headers here. We got a, a steerable header cart or a header trailer there. Uh, we got an oversized load sign that no one can read on the way back. This Dimco grain cart, man. Talk about nice. That auger is giant. That flag tops it out got another grain cart this is a 1300 bushel Dimco grain cart on a uh, Steiger here 580 quad track we probably have way too much grain cart for wheat but hey can't never have too much grain cart right uh, whatever well you guys are probably wondering where are the harvesters well guess we're gonna have to go see them so we got the grain carts here we got two trucks here already we got a Dimco trailer here pulled by a bison truck and we got a jet trailer here pulled by a beautiful Phoenix and look at them lights hmm I have to say that is one intimidating looking truck if I was just a long haul driver. Okay. Hopefully somebody doesn't come running down the road like we are. We have no time to spare. We gotta check out some harvesters. Try not to drive in the ditch here. Look at all these harvesters. Now in my opinion, these are some of the top giant harvesters and farm sim. Everyone prefers the construction yellow or the challenger yellow Kloss harvesters, but Kloss recently changed all their harvesters around to their European colors. I don't know, it's kind of growing on me. I've always been pretty impressed by these harvesters. This is probably one of the first harvesters I saw in person harvesting with a 16 row corn head and it was flying through the field. I've always been impressed. 
them dual rotors in there, they can really chew corn up. Uh, 9230 here. So this is a few series short. So they are already to a 9250. But the, the mods in Farm Sim aren't exactly up to my par yet. And to this, I love the flag on the bin extensions there. Can't really beat that. Has some saucy tracks here. In my opinion, one bad looking harvesters. And, you know, we kind of have the a little bit of the cold corn star or daddy corn star harvester look here. Just, just slightly, just slightly, a little bit. One of the most nostalgic looking harvesters out there. The 7150 so uh, I love the white top cab you can tell it's a different shade of red for a uh, case IH here it was more of I don't know for sure where this uh, style red came from if it was more of the international red maybe but you can tell but just by the pickup head here a little bit different color red but beautiful harvester I wish you could, uh, the only thing bad about this mod is the auger is way too short. Be nice if you could put a longer auger on it more in uh, duels, duels or tracks or anything other than this uh, narrow. I, I get it, 7150 doesn't have the biggest, uh, usually the biggest tires on it. There's a lot of farmers out there that harvest a 7000 series with a 12 roll head. So, of course, we can't leave out New Holland. They make a pretty impressive harvester. Of course, this one's all dirty and uh, used up here. We got giant Goodyear's on it all the way around. Got a bin, bin extension on it. Great looking twin rotor harvester. Can really chew up anything put through it. Of course, the nostalgic S98 super series gleaner here i have always loved gleaners it's one of the first and i probably have the most hours in a gleaner harvester some people think they look like a lunchbox they call them the silver cedar or whatever definitely make a clean bin sample i mean there are a reason why this company is still making harvesters today can't leave out john deere's top of the line brand new 1100 x9 now this thing is impressive look at that bin Whew, man you need that bin for how much this thing can chew this is supposed to be the top of the line now i don't know if they went above a nine series i'm not sure giant duels to carry this heavy beast of a harvester harvesters are getting extremely expensive i wouldn't like making the payments on this girl this thing in real life extremely expensive so john deere still makes the old series the seven series with the x9 here because uh not every farmer can afford the x9 they make the 7 series. We got the 790 here. And it is even a bush light. Talk about a uh, pride and joy American spirit there. I know we got the other Lexion. We can't leave out the old pride and joy Lexion. The 780. This is uh, when uh, Lexions uh, ruled the corn field. One of the top looking class Lexions in uh, construction yellow, challenger yellow, however you want to call whatever this is called. Let's start harvesting. All right, let's not hit a fence post here. That would be nice. Okay, hopefully I'm clear. The other harvesters are flying. Oh my goodness, hold up. You're supposed to be blocking the traffic. Uh, try not to take out the sign here. Ooh, close. Close call. You could tell I take up the entire 
road. With that CWS system in front of me, I'm having a little bit of hard time seeing. I got fence posts here to the side, a giant pasture, and I got high line poles on the other side. Definitely can't hit any of them because uh, you're probably uh, gonna be a repair bill on the draper head. Just a guess, just a guess. I'm sure hope that they uh, will radio me if somebody's coming down because I cannot see on these turns here. Oh, these are some blind turns and it is bouncy, bouncy. I'm just gonna gun it and hope for the best. It's always worked out for me in the past. Oh, got some beautiful looking corn here. Get almost to a wheat field over here to the side. Looks like my buddies have already started uh, putting on their heads. We have no time to spare. Clear off a path so they can start harvesting. Run that up. Just the air a little bit. Don't really need air as long as the wheat isn't uh, down. It's more for the soybeans, that's for sure probably slow down and start to help them. I gotta get this thing lined up. Not even close. I'm gonna have to end up driving through the ditch. Try not to bend that culvert up. Oh. 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 Man. Oh. Not something you want to do with a million dollar harvester. Okay. There we go. Alright, he's headed away there. Get this harvester in the field here. So yes, yes, as you can see we got a John Deere head on the case. Primarily because we might be harvesting down wheat. We needed the air system on there. We could have put a McDon like the Kloss has in front of it. But uh, I just think John Deere makes a little bit better of a header than a McDon, but uh, I might be a little bit biased there. And two, I mean, look at that beautiful head, though. I love that uh, chrome CWS air system on it. Man, beautiful looking. I think we can uh, catch the case harvester here. We are losing ground here. This is not like the John Deere at all. So we got the Lexion, we got the Case, some of the top, at least the top five harvesters out there. Uh, definitely can throw the New Holland in here, definitely could probably even throw the John Deere 7 Series. Uh, Gleaners, they don't really make a 9 Series, I don't believe. Maybe they do, but it's not the same capacity as these, uh, the Case and the John Deere, especially this uh, giant X9. Okay, we got a major traffic jam going up here. Uh-oh. Figure it out, ladies. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Over here in beautiful Missouri, playing with the big harvesters. Uh-oh, don't run over the crop. Don't run over the crop. What are you doing? If you guys would also like to see the nostalgic harvesters and farm sim, you all know I have a lot of mods. I have like 5,000 mods in my mod folders. I can show you the best of them. If you'd like to see that, leave it down in the comments. You know I have an addiction. I need help. But thank you all. Don't forget, like the video.